Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we are going to build a very simple command line app using PyQt5. Alright, so here's the app we're going to build. It's a very simple application. And on the top we have a, a kind of like an input field where we can type the commands. So for example, if I want to uh, list uh, all my files and folders in my current working directory, so I can simply type dir and click on show to uh, print out all the files and uh, folders inside my working directory. Some people may ask, why would you want to do that if the command line tool is already available in your operation system? I feel like uh, by creating our own command line tool, you can customize your own uh, functionalities or own operations. If you don't like the interface that the command line tool is already available, such as if you want to change the uh, background color, the font size, or the, uh, or the font color, then you can easily configure the interface using a desktop GUI. And secondly, you can customize the functionalities however you want. So you can uh, automate some of the things that you do, such as uh, if you always run the same command lines, then you can probably create a uh, combo box on the top that gives you a quick access to run the same command over and over again. All right, so here let me go ahead and insert my code snippet. And the tool is very easy to make. We can build this tool in less than 10 minutes. So from the Qt widgets module, I'll import uh, these four classes first. Then I'll add the uh, push button. For the area that I want to type my commands and to display the output, I'll use QPlan text editor widget to do that. And we don't need anything from the Qt core module. So basically all we need just uh, these six uh, classes. So I'll start by creating my main routine. And here's my uh, main routine. Inside the main routine, here's my app instance. And I set the uh, default font size to 30 pixels. And here's the uh, my app instance creation. Now let's go to my app class. So here I set my uh, default window size to 1200 by 800. So here let me change the height to 1500. And this is going to be my default window. So here let me give my window app a title. I'll name this app, uh, command line app. Now I want to create my widgets. So starting from the top, I want to insert an area where I can type my commands. I'll name the object self.editor command is equals to QPlan text edit. Then I'll add the widget to my layout object. Next, I want to insert the widget. Where am I going to display the output? And it's going to be another QPlan text editor widget. I'll name the object self.editor output is equals to QPlan text edit. I'll add the widget to the layout object. And here I want to set the widget's height ratio. So I'll set uh, the editor common widget to 30%. And for the output area, I'll set the ratio to 70%. Now we can install buttons. I'm going to have two buttons. One button is to run the command, and the other button is going to clear the output. So I'll start by creating a layout object to store the push buttons. So I'll name this layout button layout. And it's going to be a Q horizontal box layout. And I'll add the layout to my layout object using the add layout method. Now I can create my push buttons. And it's gonna be button number one, uh, run. So I'll name this button, self.button run. And I want to print uh, show. Actually let's uh, name this to run, run command. And I'll add the push button to the button layout object. And this should be a widget. Now let's create the other button. And it's going to 
be the button to clear the output. And it's going to be clear. Oh, noticing that here I'm inserting the input symbol next to letter R and letter C. And that means that I want to be able to perform a shortcut using the L key. Now I'll add the push button to the button layer object. And this should be clear. All right, now let's take a look at the application. So on the top is the area where we're going to insert the commands. And the button area is going to be the area where we're going to print the output. All right, so we have the interface created. Now we need to create our functions to run the command. Let me go back to the top. So I forgot to import the OS module. And that allows us to run the uh, command line commands. So here I'm going to create a method. I'll name this method run command. And we're going to have a parameter called command. Inside the method, I'm going to insert the OS module dot popin. I'm going to name the output as p. And using the popin method, we can run the command lines. And here I'm going to insert the command. Now I'm going to insert if condition. And I'm going to say that if p is not empty, then I want to print the output. So first, I need to make sure that I clear everything uh, in the editor. Then I want to read the output from the uh, p object. Then I can display the output. And I'll use the insert plain text method. I'm going to take this method. I will assign that to the button run uh, push button. And I will send the method to the clerk signal. And for the clear button, so here we can insert Lombarda function to simplify the process. And I can simply insert the self dot editor output dot clear method. In case if you want to have a default command line on launch, so here we can uh, provide a, a command line statement. Here I'm going to type self dot editor command dot insert plain text. And assuming that every time when I launch this app, I want to have the uh, the command to be the default. And that's it. Now let's do a test run. So here's my command line. And let me do this. Here I'll put this on the left. And I'll put my uh, folder on the right. So let me close this. Now let's test the app. So here's my default command line statement. And if I click on run command, and here I have, a, I have an error. Let's take a look. Okay, so here I made a mistake. So we cannot use a parameter. Uh, we need to print the command. I will need to print the command line using self.editor com, uh, command. I'll grab the text using to plain text method. I want to remove uh, empty space from both ends. And I think that was my mistake. Now let's try again. So this time if I click on run command push button, and here is another typo. Oh, this should be command line. All right, let me try again, run command. And here's the output. You can also run command line actions, such as create a folder, create a file, remove a folder, and so on. So if I use the command statement, mkdir, to create a folder, I'm in the folder uh, test. And this time I'm going to use the shortcut out up to run the command. And a new folder got created in my working directory. So here's the test folder. 
So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful in the toys. See you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.